Hi, I'm Chris. I am doing a vinyl response for Jack at Vinyl Martini. He is doing a contest, uh, three years in the VC contest, where he's going to donate a gift to charity. And he has two requirements to, number one, talk about or highlight a new VC member. And number two, show some of your compilations. So number one is Brian at Institute of Pop. Looks like he started in April. He only has a couple hundred subscribers, but he has 125 videos. His thumbnails are really high quality. His videos are really high quality. I recently did a vinyl tag 2025 and he responded. That's where I found him. And a really cool, interesting channel. Check him out, Brian at the Institute of Pop. Okay, now the comps. The first comp I have is Volume 2, Battle of the Bands. This came out in 1968. This was uh, on Panorama. This is a Seattle compilation. The first five or six bands are Garage, and the rest are Psychedelic. Dawn of the Good Times, Springfield Rifle, you probably heard of the Kingsmen, the Sonics, the Bards, the Whalers. They would all go on a TV show and for Battle of the Bands, and the winner would be able to put out a single, and if the single did well, they'd be put out an LP. These other bands, the Bumps, the Live Our London Taxi, Magic Fern, PH Factor, these are all psychedelic bands. Most of them didn't have an album. They just had singles, but this is a really good comp about Seattle history. It is on the Panorama label. Next one is Northwest Collection, Volume 1. This came out in 1966 on Etiquette. Members of the Whalers when put out or created a label called Etiquette, and that's the album, that's the label that the Sonics were on. So this has the Whalers, the Sonics, the Galaxies, also Gail Harris, Marilyn Lodge, Robin Roberts. These are Northwest icons. This is Great Garage from the Northwest on that purple etiquette label. <clears throat> Going into the, the 90s, this is CZ Records, Hard to Believe, Kiss Covers compilation. This album, CZ Records was an early Seattle label. I don't know. You can see that. Bullet La Volta did Detroit Rock Kid, Rock City. Skinyard did Snowblind. The Melvins did God of Thunder. Coffin Break. Beth. Really interesting covers of Kiss. The single. So Nirvana did Do You Love Me. That's probably the most popular band on this compilation. CZ Records, 1990, Kiss Covers compilation. A few years earlier than that, 1986, came out, and also on CZ Records, that same label, it came out, the Deep Six compilation. This would be the first grunge comp compilation before they even coined the word grunge. Green River, Malfunction, Andy Wood was in Malfunction. After that, he was in Mother Love Bone. He would die. The members would then form Temple of the Dog, and then they would morph into Pearl Jam. The Melvins, Skinyard, Soundgarden, Human, Green River. This is a great, great comp. Very hard to find. This is mid-80s mid classic grunge. I don't know why I have my seven-year bitch press photo in there. They weren't even on this album. And the next one, Sub Pop 100. The, the same year this compilation came out, and Sub Pop 100 was a compilation but didn't have any grunge bands. This is before they got into the grunge. This is more 
industrial noise, electronic type music, Steve Albini, Wipers, Sonic Youth, Human, Skinny Puppy. This is not what you would expect from Sub Pop. Two years later, after this came out, Sub Pop would release Sub Pop 200. Now this is grunge. This had Soundgarden, Green River, Fastbacks, Tad, Fluid, Nirvana, Girl Trouble, The Nights and Days, Cat Butt. I believe I have a insert in here. Yes, there it is. Comes with a booklet, Sub Pop 200. Now this is all grunge. Pick this up if you can find it. The booklet has really good photos. Again, this is 1988. This is before grunge got popular in the masses. Back in 1988, I liked Soundgarden a lot better than Nirvana. You couldn't understand Kurt Cobain's vocals, but you could Chris Cornell. Okay, leaving the grunge era, we're going to, this is 1980. Epitaph for a Legend on International Artist. This is a great compilation. This, this one is highlighting songs from the great label from Houston, Texas, International Artists. On this, they had all the artists from that, which is the most famous one is the 13 Floor Elevators, Red Crayola, the Bubble Puppy, Dave Allen, Indel St. Cloud. This is a great compilation to get if you're interested in that Texas 60s stuff but don't know where to start. This probably could be found for about, seven, well, it's about $75, $80. This is really good stuff. It's, it's probably, I think it shows like three songs per artist. I don't think it's been reissued. Came out in 1980. Next one is 1969 Underground. This has, this is on the Tower Records label. Years ago, I would collect, I would collect everything on the Tower label because of Pink Floyd. I started with the Pink Floyd. Let's see. This one. It's got seemingly played by Pink Floyd. It's them, Waltz of Flies, and Saucer Full of Secrets by Pink Floyd, the Chocolate Watch Band, Kim Fowley, them, and another Kim Fowley. This is the Underground on Tower from 1969. This one needs no introduction. This is from 1972. This is the original Nuggets, original artifacts from the first psychedelic era, 1965 to 1968. This has got the who's who of psychedelic bands, the electric prunes, the standals, the vagrants, and, and garage, the barbarians, the seeds, shadows of night, the leaves. What's cool about this one is this is a White label promo, double disc. This is a great comp to pick up if you're interested in psychedelic music from this era. The last one, it's a comp, but it's, it's one band. This came out in 2012, Q65, The Life I Live. The Deck of 45. This is a band from the Netherlands who um, a year ago I've never even heard of. They put out a lot of singles. And I don't have any of the singles. They started off Garage. And then they kind of turned into Psych. And they've got five albums. Revolution, Revival, Afghanistan. We're going to make it four great albums 
And the first one is Grunt, the other two get into Psych, and the last one is more Rock. If you haven't heard these guys, stream them, listen. Really, really good music. I'm digging them a lot. Those are my comps. Pick up some of this music. Let me know what you think of any of this. And hopefully I win the contest and a donation goes to the great charity. Thank you.